Welcome back to Nini's Eats. I'm your girl Nini. Happy Taco Tuesday, everyone. Do you guys see what your girl has going on here, y'all? Your girl has some shredded beef brilla tacos. Yes. And then I also have some elotes on the side. I can't have Mexican food without elotes for some reason. I mean, I can, but why? <laughs> and then plus I have like tons of corn because of my plate cells. So I'd be, you know, wanting to use it up. Now, here's the kicker. You guys know how usually burrilla tacos go inside of a consume? I am dipping my tacos inside of my cilantro lime seafood lettuce sauce. Yes, I'm excited about it. I mean, it's the same. Um, it came straight out of the jar. But what I did is I did add um, some, like a half a cup of, no, about three-fourths of a cup of chicken broth. To loosen it up because you know consume is really juicy and loose if you will so that's what i did just to loosen up my sauce because my sauce is a little bit on the thick side anywho so i am excited this is my first time i've had other people have it with brilla tacos like for instance angela eats tv hashtag picky palettes she cooked her meat and dipped it in the sauce so i know that was good so Happy Taco Tuesday. Let me say my grace. Father God, I'd like to thank you and praise you for this meal. I sanctify it through your word and prayer, and I cast out anything harmful to me. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You guys want to see the close-up? <laughs> you know you do. You know you do. You want to see this melted cheese. <laughs> Check this out. So maybe I can get like a cheese pool or two out of it. And of course, you guys know I got my handy dandy Coca-Cola. That was a nice little uh, startup sound, huh? Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm. Ooh, where to start? Let's start over here with this upside down taco. It was hot. Ooh, you see the steam? Let's see. Let's see what we get. Ooh. That'll work for me. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. That's good. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything is giving what it's supposed to give. The meat, I started cooking last night because the meat is a process. The, the, the chili part of, you know, making it from scratch, that's the process. Um, 
I started last night. And it sucked it all up. And then the crispiness of the shells from frying it. I use provolone cheese. That way, you know how provolone cheese melts. So that's what I was going for. That is really everything. Ooh. How are you guys doing today? Ooh, it's hot over here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, don't fall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see that fried cheese right there? Shut up. Shut up. Fresh cilantro. Fresh onions. The cilantro, uh, cilantro lime sauce. I made two days ago. I accidentally made too many, one too many. So that's how I was able to get my. That's it too. The butter. Mm -hmm. And the onion from the butter sauce has all that yumminess in it. That's good. I'm happy. I've been craving these for a while. It's like when you don't make, for me, when I don't make ground beef, then I want this. And then, of course, you guys know what elotes tastes like. So I fried them in butter. <laughs> I fried them in, I can't talk, the cilantro lime butter. Mm -hmm. Toss them up in some mayonnaise. Sprinkle Parmesan cheese all over and some chili powder. Mm. I'm good to go. I should have brought my paper towel holder over here. Hold on. Because this is going to be a messy one. Ooh, that's good. I love elotes. I think I told you guys that before. Wait, though. Why? You know how last time I had elotes? I think it was last Tuesday. Or last, oh no, it was like on a Friday or Saturday or something. Anywho. And I had said that we don't have any elotes, man, like we did in Long Beach. Why am I in my bed not in in my bed, but on my bed. Editing yesterday's video, and I hear the I don't I can't make that sound, but I hear the horn. The elote. I don't know if he had elotes or whatever, but I heard the horn. And then a few minutes later, I heard the ice cream man. That's a shot. Oh. You know how I'm, that works for some reason, like, you go buy a car, and all of a sudden it seems like everybody's driving that car, or you go buy a sweater, and it seems like all of a sudden everybody's wearing that sweater, you know what I'm talking So it's like, it's funny, or you go to a restaurant, and it's empty, and then all of a sudden, here comes everybody, like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't want to say, like, you're on TV and they see you. But you know what I mean. Excuse me. Yeah. 
Mm. Mine picked it up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so that's how I felt about the little thing, man. I said, oh, he must have heard me. <laughs> he said, no, I'm here. <laughs> Mm. Mm. The lime sets the meat off real good. Real, real good. Mm. Hold on. The meat is yummy. Like I said, I cooked it yesterday. Mm. Look at this bad boy right here, though. Have you guys ever made video tacos? And you know, for some reason, towards the end, everything starts getting a little, like, sloppy, a little messy. You hear that fire cheese? Because all of a sudden, there's cheese everywhere. Mm. 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We, ooh, we girls. Ooh, that lime sure did try to get me. Let's see if it got me. No. I'm not just mm, gonna be. Mm. <laughs> Every flavor is doing what it's supposed to do. The butter is giving its cilantro, lime, yummy, Mexican-y flavor. The onions in it is look how it comes dripping out the other end. Mm, shut up. Everything is doing its job. So all of you who watched my yesterday's challenge video, uh, 10 wings in 10 minutes, uh, challenged by Sam's World, thank you so very much. That video is doing awesome right now. That video is most definitely bringing in some watch time hours. I think it's the, oh, girl, Lord help me. It's the scavenger hat that has people like really watching it because they want to see all five items. And so all of you who participated in my, what do you want to call it? Nini's Eats Christmas Scavenger Hunt Giveaway. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. You really are. Thank you so very much. I thought it would be fun. And for those of you who did participate in Scavenger Hunt, you guys told me that you had a fun time. That you guys were like literally running through the house trying to hurry up and get these pictures. <laughs> so, with that being said, because I almost forgot, let me announce the two winners. Congratulations, you two. I'm so happy for you guys. They have already told me what um, flavor sauces they want. Um, your Darling's Pearls, sorry. Your Darling's Pearls wants the regular mile, 32 ounce regular mile. And officially, Jamia, Jamia wants vegan mild. Or did she say vegan spicy? 
Either way, I, I can go back to the conversation. It was probably vegan spicy. Anyways, I'm going to go back to the conversation and see it, of course, before I actually make the order. But congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for participating. Um, for those of you who did watch the video all the way to the end, you guys saw that I was contemplating on if there should be two winners or not. And I initially had said no. I was like, I was like, since I said one at the beginning of the video, I was going to leave it at one. But it came to the point to where Elijah and Jamia were like literally uploading their pictures at the same time. Sorry, I'm studying over y'all's names. I don't know why I am. It's not like I don't know who you guys are. But I know with Jamia, I usually say Jamia. And it's Jamia, I believe. <laughs> Correct me, sis, in the comment section. And then Elijah goes by yours truly, darling, but his name is Elijah. Um. So here, let me show you guys their pictures. Let me show you their pictures. Aren't they cute? How fun. They said they have fun just running through the house trying to get these pictures together <laughs> real fast. <laughs> and that's that was my whole point. That's what I wanted. You know, like a, just a little fun scavenger hunt real quick. And both of these two people are awesome, awesome YouTube creators, you guys. So I'm going to leave their links in the description box. Go check them both out. They're um, YouTube creators, and they're also awesome supporters. They both have bought my sauce numerous times. I believe Elijah's on jar, like, number five or six, somewhere around there. One, two, three, four, maybe about four or five. Jamia, this will be her third jar. So, and then, the, you know... Just in general with watching each other's videos and stuff like that. Because I watch their content and they watch mine. You know, so. Really good friends. And I'm happy that they. And as you can see, they were on it. Because both of them were in the. I premiered the video. And both of them were in it. In the premiere. So they were on it. You know. And as soon as the fifth one came up. The fifth picture came up. Here they go on my DMs, and both of them are uploading pictures, so I was like, I got two winners. Which is fine by me. You know me. I'd be making these plates like I can eat them all. Excuse me. Like for real. I'd be thinking I can eat them all. It's because your eyes are bigger than your stomach. For real, for real. And I'm going for these elotes because they're good. <gasps> Something about, oh, girl. Over here playing. I know somebody said that. I know somebody said, when's she going to dip the corn? I guess since it wasn't a seafood boil, you know, I didn't, it didn't click. I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Sucking the life out of that corn. <laughs> Y'all know how butter sauces are on corn, don't they? 
Ooh, the sun finally trying to come out. I thought it was going to be gloomy all day. Weatherman said we'll get rain on Thursday. Excuse me. Um, burping is definitely going to be in this title. To let y'all know, for those who like it can come in and those who don't. Because <laughs> well, that was a, my third good one. That was a, mm. I'm full on top of those. I think I ate three, three or four. They're stuffed. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I really don't want to get the itis yet. It's not like I really have anything planned today. It's just maybe some laundry. That's about it. Editing this video, getting it out to you guys today. I think I'm going to premiere this video. I want to be good. One, the interaction. So, you know, you get a group of people. Speaking of that, a lot of you guys came into yesterday's premiere. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. All of you guys. There's a lot of you guys that came in. I would go down the list, but I don't want to leave anybody out. So I love and appreciate all you guys for being there. Um... Premieres is like a fun way to socialize without technic without going live live, you know. You got all your friends in the chat, watching a video get together, having a good conversation, everyone saying hello. You know, I could probably eat all of these corn and don't mind. Because it's like technically that was only one corn, you know. Um, and then it helps with watch time hours because let's say you have 20 people in there. You got 20 people who watched your video all the way to the end, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that helps. Speaking of watch time hours, my watch time hours are doing awesome. You guys, I am, uh, about 2600 26 something 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 so i'm gonna just say 2600 or let's round up i'm at 3000 no okay <laughs> i will be there soon and then before you know it it'll be 4k and we'll be celebrating mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll be celebrating for sure for sure and I know it's going to happen because I have until March. And a lot of you guys have been running my playlist for me. I just got done running. Um, um, I had finished Angela Eats, one of her playlists. I, uh, oh, shoot. I'm going to say Steph. She knows what I'm talking about. Oh, I can't think of her full YouTube name. I hate that. I know y'all by, by faces, not names. Anyways, I just ran her playlist the other night. So if you're someone who needs their playlist ran, comment down below. I have an extra iPad at night that runs playlists for me. Last night I ran my own playlist. <laughs> what? Gotta get it done. There was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. And it was on the tip of my tongue, but I was talking about this. Oh, my show. I was going to ask you guys, what are you guys watching on Netflix? 
because I found this new show. It's called Selling Tampa. You know Tampa, Florida. It's a uh, a real estate series, a reality series. And this series is a group of black and Latina women. And I mean, when I say women, I mean women. Um, you know, taking over Tampa, Florida, selling these million dollar, multi-million, billion dollar houses. And what got me about this show is, one, the fact that it's an all-woman cast. Two, that it's a, you know, minority woman cast. Three, that they were, I mean, there was a little bit of pettiness and, you know, them being catty, you know, but there was never like no drinks being thrown at nobody, nobody's fist fighting, nobody's, you know, pulling off nobody's wig, you know, not, I mean, so there was like a little bit of cattiness and pettiness, but no like real little girl drama. You know, these were women about their money. Mm -mm. And I loved it. I watched the whole series in like two, maybe three days. I can't wait for the next season. Mm -mm. That's so good. Sucked up the juice so good. Um, so, yeah. So look for it on Netflix if you guys are into that kind of thing. You know, it's about business. It's about being women. It's about bossing up. Um, it's about, uh, you know, I love watching anything that has to do with, like, bigger, beautiful homes. I love big, beautiful homes. So it was definitely, like, the show for me. And then I do watch drama shows, like, on the, um, on the network Zeus. Z U S Zeus. I was I was kind of watching. What is it called? One more chance. You guys remember Chance from um, Tiffany um, uh, Love in New York or whatever her show was called. You know she was trying to find love and she thought Chance was one and he wasn't. But anyway, so he has his own spinoff, Looking for Love show. That man ain't looking for love. <laughs> but anyways. Um, and that that show, these heifers, girl, they little girls. They think they women, but they acting like little girls on that show. And then I just got done with season two of um, Jocelyn's Cabaret. I like the Puerto Rican princess. She's definitely a Scorpio. And she can be a hot mess. She really can because, I don't know, she's a Scorpio. But I love her. <laughs> and that's definitely a um, TV MA channel series, you guys. It's MA for, for real, for real. For I just finished that one. So, that's what I'm watching. So, where are you guys watching? Because I just finished Selling Tampa. I don't know what else to watch. And I like to watch these shows like when my whole day is over. And the kids are asleep. And I'm just lounging in bed waiting to go pick up my husband from work, you know. Or waiting for him to come home from work depending on the... Thing. You guys, make your to-go plate. Get your to-go plate. I got one, two, three, four. I got seven tacos up there, but I think I ate like three or four. Um, Let me end this video because I see that I'm hitting like freaking 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, my bad.
I'm just talking and eating. Um, thank you all for being here. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We are on the road to 4K. Can I ask everyone, please, please, please take a moment to when you come, um, when you're done with this video to comment something down below. Please thumbs up this video. And if you don't mind, please share it out. That will help me reach my 4K faster than you can imagine. I appreciate all of you guys. Love you. Happy holidays. And um, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>